Thanks. Well, with a stacked field of many of the world's top golfers, the hype around the 55th RBC Heritage may have been bigger than any in the tournament's storied history. Today, our Tyler Mannion went out to Harbor Town to see the impact that excitement had on local businesses. The crowds that flooded Harbor Town golf links are now gone. That week is like no other. But underneath the famous lighthouse, a local restaurant says the tournament left its mark. Between, you know, Thursday and Saturday, maybe even Sunday, about 2,500 people were coming through the building daily. He says that's about 1,000 more customers a day than they saw for 4th of July last year, commonly known as one of the island's busiest days. When we got to the peak of the wait list, it was anywhere between two, two and a half hours, but we were doing our best to get people in any way that we could. The quarter deck's general manager says they tried to serve everyone they could, but the restaurant would fill up entirely as early as 3 p.m. A couple hundred feet away, the general manager of Crazy Crab has been here for 37 years and can't remember a week like the one they just finished. The amount of people on the course, and the marina, all Harbor Town, just definitely more than ever. He thinks the weather and high profile golfers are to thank, saying wait times got up to two hours here as well. It was a madhouse, you know, it's lots of people, lots of alcohol. While both restaurants can exhale a bit, the servers uh, we have a red snapper or the red fish. will likely stay busy from now until the end of summer. We turn around and it's an incredibly busy lunch and we have as many reservations as we can take tonight. So it's unrelenting. Reporting from Hilton Head, Tyler Mannion, WTOC News.